Good morning. I'm Mike with Advanced RV, and this is Elise. And I want to talk a little bit about our available vans and something that Elise has worked with Fred and others on. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit about your battery testing process. Yeah, so uh, Fred helped us a lot with coming up with this little computer that we can plug into each van um, and charge it all the way from 100 down to zero and kind of see the battery health. Um, on the computer with all these different stats on it, so um, it's been really helpful in our testing process for how healthy a pre-owned van is and what work we need to do on it. Thanks, Elise. And you and you uh, have, have also logged the date that the battery was put in, the type of battery, the type of charger, the type of uh, all the equipment, and then the original size of the battery and watt hours and, and uh, amp hours mm -hmm. and uh, so that you have a whole uh, kind of a history, a battery history on each of our available vans yes. and so the process now is every available van that comes in you'll go through the battery testing. How long does that take? Mm -hmm. About a day by the time you go? Th yep, about a day. It takes a while for it to drain but the, yeah, it's just plugging in and out takes about an hour so so uh, and if anybody wants to test their their existing uh, battery set for how much has uh, been deteriorated over the years uh, Elise can do that mm -hmm. and we can do that here and uh, there's a charge for it but it's it's uh, it, it, it covers the cost of doing it so but the big thing is one of the reasons we did this was to figure out what our history of batteries are. The batteries have all kinds of different use. Uh, the, there's uh, history inside the battery uh, logic that tells us if it's been abused. So we can look at how the batteries have been used, how much cold weather storage, how much cycle, how many cycles in the last, and I think, what, what's the oldest one we've done so far, at least? Eight years? Nine yeah, years? Yeah, maybe eight years. It's 2015. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so eight or nine years have been the oldest. And so part of that program is now we will guarantee the batteries in available uh, vans for three years. And the objective is that it doesn't lose more than 20% of its capacity at the time of test here when we test it. So, and that's a three-year warranty. And uh, if it does, we replace the batteries on their available units. That's in addition to the one-year warranty that we provide when we sell uh, uh, available units to people. So this is a big deal both from a learning standpoint we've been able to uh, document, learn, look for patterns in battery use. Uh, I think that how many have we actually decided to replace out of the dozen or 15 that we've tested? I believe three of them. Two or three. So two or three. One we knew had been abused and was uh, at a low level of uh, charge capacity and two more were just on the edge, so uh, we are replacing those batteries before they go out to clients. So this is, what are you working on here? We're uh, working on pulling this battery pack out so that we can upgrade the GBS cells that are inside. So did it, it tested, uh, we tested the cells? I believe so, and I think they were below the, the threshold that we like to see, so we're gonna pull them and replace them. So this is a used one and uh, this is part of our quality control and upgrade program, huh? Yep. yep. All right. And then what else, uh, looking underneath, uh, I, I see that it's fairly dirty, but you see any rust or anything else we should... Uh... No, we're not really seeing any rust. Like you said, it's just pretty dirty, some salt and stuff like that, but nothing to be too concerned about. Um, the guys at Plumbing here are going to replace a couple tanks. Cool. Um, well, thanks, Jacob. Yeah. Good morning, Mike. How are you? I'm good. You doing all right? I'm not doing bad. So this is one of our used uh, available vans that I guess is sold. Yes. And uh, so this is a continuation of our quality and upgrade process. Yes, sir. And it looks like now you're taking out the, uh, it's an aux fuel tank? It's an auxiliary fuel tank, yes. The original owner of this van wanted it because he was doing extended travel, so he wanted a couple extra gallons of fuel when he was going down the road. 
but it's uh, it's something that the new owner is not interested in, and uh, it, there's some maintenance with it, huh? Correct, yes. So what we're doing now is we're going to remove it, make sure everything is uh, capped off correctly, and eliminate uh, all components to it to make sure it's safe going down the road. Great. And, and so, then what about, what else do we, are we upgrading underneath here, Ron? What? So what we're also doing is we're going to upgrade his black and gray tank. Over time, this uh, gray ta uh, black tank, excuse me, uh, ex has expanded quite a bit and is starting to rub a little bit on the drive shaft here. So what we're going to do is we're going to retrofit it with all of our new tanks and all of our new uh, plumbing for underneath the van. Cool. So Jacob is working on uh, putting in new battery cells. Yes, You're working he is. on uh, new tanks and uh, mm -hmm. eliminating a little bit of weight and a little bit of maintenance with the aux fuel tank. Mm -hmm. uh, and these are all part of making keeping these uh, up to new standards, essentially. That's right. So make sure everything's up to our standards and as well as the customer standards. Super. Well, thanks a lot, Ron. Not a problem. Enjoy the day. So this is this is really cool. I I think this is what the work you're doing and data mm -hmm. logging and testing these is great thank mm -hmm. you for that and uh, it's nice that we're able to guarantee our batteries mm -hmm. it'll just be good to have a history on them for future use yeah great thanks Elise yeah.